We're talking to Dr. Faulkner from Meharry Medical College, and the issue is diabetes and kidney disease. And of course, uh, Dr. Faulkner, let's give you an opportunity to uh, talk about uh, diabetes and uh, perhaps give us uh, what you might consider a checklist in terms of uh, the impact and the effects that this disease has upon uh, individuals. Well, once you're diagnosed with diabetes, mm -hmm. then there are several things that you must keep up with. Mm -hmm. One is your cholesterol. You should get it checked every year. Mm -hmm. uh, another is your eye exam. You should get that checked mm -hmm. every year as well. Then as it relates to your blood sugar, mm -hmm. your hemoglobin A1C, you should get that checked mm -hmm. every six months. Mm -hmm. If it's not controlled, every three months until mm -hmm. it's controlled. Mm -hmm. So there's several things you need to check on. You also need to check on your kidneys, and that's the main reason mm -hmm. why I'm here, mm -hmm. because your kidneys should be checked on every year as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the kidneys is, is very intimately associated with uh, diabetes. Oh, uh, is, yes. Is, uh, huh? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, diabetes affects every organ in your body, mm -hmm. uh, your brain, your heart, mm -hmm. uh, your kidneys. It, it, it just affects just about every organ in your body. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't check your diabetes and it gets out of control, Mm -hmm. Then you start to lose protein in your urine. Mm -hmm. And once you start to lose protein in your urine, mm -hmm. after about a 10 year period, you could end up on the dialysis mm -hmm. machine mm -hmm. or kidney machine. Mm -hmm. And talk about uh, the uh, kidney machine, the dialysis. Uh, mm -hmm. what, uh, what, what's the process in, in reference to that? Well, dialysis is a, f is a form of renal replacement therapy. Mm -hmm. Renal means kidney. So it's a form of therapy that we can use to substitute your kidney. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it is not 100% like a Mm -hmm. human kidney, but it maintains your life lifespan mm -hmm. and it gives you an opportunity to wait on a kidney mm -hmm. transplant. Mm -hmm. Now I understand that this is a very, very expensive proposition, these uh, dialysis and whatever. Talk oh, about yes. that as a, as a cost that might be associated with, with kidney disease. Oh yes, uh, uh, dialysis is very expensive. It can cost from thirty-five to fifty thousand dollars a year per patient, mm -hmm. and there are about four hundred and fifty thousand patients on dialysis across mm -hmm. the United mm -hmm. States. So it is a big part mm -hmm. of what the government spends to take care of a patient mm -hmm. who has mm -hmm. kidney disease. Mm -hmm. And anything that could be done in order to decrease the number of individuals who might be impacted by this disease will help not only individuals, but will help uh, the, the national government and help the governments as oh, well. Oh yes, mm -hmm. oh yes. Anything that can be done. First of all, if you have diabetic kidney disease, mm -hmm. uh, what you need to do is make sure your blood pressure is controlled. Mm -hmm. Make sure your blood sugar stays under control. Mm -hmm. Make sure your lipids or your cholesterol mm -hmm. stays under control. Mm -hmm. Uh, those things can help you decrease mm -hmm. your uh, progression of kidney disease mm -hmm. and increase your lifespan mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's, it's really an individual decision that can, can, can make all the difference in the world in terms of how they might be able to respond to the treatment, is that it? Oh yes, treatment. oh yes. Mm -hmm. The better you respond to the treatment, mm -hmm. the fewer doctor visits you have, mm -hmm. uh, the cre decrease in the cost of your care, mm -hmm. it is amazing what can be done if the patient works along with the doctor mm -hmm. to help treat the mm -hmm. diabetes. Mm -hmm. Well, what have you found in terms of dealing with patients uh, to be some of the uh, real reasons that people don't do what they're supposed to do as uh, patients. I know that, you know, you see people every day and you've mm -hmm. told them to do this or do that, and et cetera, but yet still they're not doing what, you, what they're supposed to do. What are some of the reasons that they give uh, to you in reference to that? Well, you know, a lot of the medications are expensive mm -hmm. and a lot of patients don't have insurance. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that impacts what the patient does. Uh, sometimes uh, the patients don't understand exactly what the doctor is telling them mm -hmm. and they need more educational mm -hmm. information about their diabetes. A lot of times the patients might not take you as seriously as mm -hmm. you would like them okay. for them to take you mm -hmm. uh, when you're talking about monitoring their blood sugar. Mm -hmm. You know, patients on with diabetes have to monitor their blood sugar as many times during the day to make sure that it stays under control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, in your normal routine while you're working, if you have to monitor your blood sugar four times a day, three to four times a day, mm -hmm. it's very difficult mm -hmm. then to work all day and then mm -hmm. do the things that mm -hmm. you need to do mm -hmm. to monitor your blood sugar mm -hmm. and give yourself insulin and so forth. Mm -hmm. Now there are some uh, occupations that uh, you would probably have a difficult time uh, dealing with uh, if, if, if you do have some problems with uh, 
kidney disease or diabetes. Is that, so I mean, you can't live a normal life in a real sense if you've got chronic kidney disease, can you? Well, now you're talking about kidney disease as opposed to just Di having diabetes. diabetes. Uh -huh. uh, kidney disease, uh, yes, there are some things that you cannot do. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on the type of renal replacement therapy you accept. Mm -hmm. If you want hemodialysis, of course, you have to go to a dialysis facility and mm -hmm. dialyze mm -hmm. three and a half, four hours, mm -hmm. three times a week. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about peritoneal dialysis, well, you do that on a daily basis. You mm -hmm. either do it four times a day during the daytime or you do it at night with a cycler. 90% mm -hmm. uh, of the patients in the United States do hemodialysis. Only about 10% do peritoneal mm -hmm. dialysis. Mm -hmm. So the majority of the mm -hmm. patients go to a center. Mm -hmm. and, 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 but, and, but there are those individuals who are actually tied to this machine as uh, almost 90% of their time. Is that what you were saying? No, 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 not 90% of the time. I'm saying about three and a half to four hours, the three times a week. week. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's that's a considerable amount of time. Right? Yes, it is mm -hmm. a considerable amount of time. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. And a lot of patients don't feel as well as they would like to feel when they come right off the machine. So that takes a little time to get their mm -hmm. energy level mm -hmm. back up. Uh, so it does take quite a bit of your time during the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now, it, it, is, is there some kind of preventive thing that you could say to people who, mm -hmm. uh, who might later on fall into a situation where they have to come to uh, a center or, or wherever three times a week, four hours at a time, and et cetera. What can you say to people who might be going down that road? I mean, you, mm -hmm. you certainly, you, you know, by dealing with them, you can see the progression that this disease is having on them. What can you say to them to make them understand that unless they do check their situation, that uh, that will be the ultimate outcome? Well, uh, one thing is that monitor your blood pressure. Make sure your blood pressure stays normal. Diabetics mm -hmm. have to have a normal blood pressure, 120 over 75. Mm -hmm is the optimal blood pressure for them. Uh, make sure the blood sugar stays under control. Uh, make sure the cholesterol is under control. Mm -hmm. Those things will certainly help to mm -hmm. decrease the progression of kidney disease. Now there are some medications mm -hmm. that we use, uh, angio two uh, receptor blockers, angiotensin two receptor blockers. Mm -hmm. We use those to help uh, decrease the mm -hmm. impact of mm -hmm. diabetes on the kidney. Uh, also, we use uh, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, mm -hmm. which we call ACE inhibitors. A lot of patients on those medications, mm -hmm. and those two medications help to decrease the progression mm -hmm. of kidney mm -hmm. disease. Mm -hmm. But now, of course, as we get ready for this uh, second commercial break, uh, Dr. Faulkner, uh, uh, it, it, it can be said that uh, if individuals do have these problems and they can't uh, get the medication, then it's almost impossible to deal with the real problem without the medication. Is, would that be uh, correct? Well, uh, if you, the medications are very cheap. Mm -hmm. So now you, you may be able to deal with it mm -hmm. a little better than when they first came out. Very good. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break.